Are you serious? Are you serious? We're having a little bit of problem. Um, just hang on one second. Make sure I fix that. I don't know if I did. All right. We got a little bit of a problem. Uh, our internet here at the Salvation Station has went down the entire server. Uh, we've called our internet provider. They're telling us that they were going to fix it sometime between now and three hours. Of course, our live broadcast starts at 10 p.m. Eastern. Now, I'm working, I'm right now live on YouTube off of my phone's hotspot. Uh, but to be able to run everything, I need to have full internet power. So if we get it, if we get it back up from the internet provider, we'll be live as normal with full speed ahead. If not, I'll come back on and be live uh, using the hotspot just on YouTube at this low-grade uh, camera, okay? Do the best I can. Anyway, let me tell you what's going on. President Donald Trump has responded to Kim Jong-un, and Trump just said to him, look, get your act together. Basically, President Donald Trump defended uh, what he said yesterday. Uh, and if you give me just one second here, I'll pull this up here. He defended it, uh, but he did not repeat it. His threat to rain fire and fury on North Korea, a very tricky diplomatic balancing act as he worked to resolve the most serious international confrontation of his barely 200-day-old presidential administration. Quote, if anything, maybe that statement wasn't tough enough, said Trump of his blistering message to the defiant Stalinist state of North Korea. The people of our country are safe. Our allies are safe, Trump told reporters at his bed and minister golf resort in New Jersey. And I will tell you this, North Korea better get their act together or they're going to be in trouble like few nations have ever been in trouble before. Okay? So Trump, really upset, not liking this whole situation, to be quite honest, tired of the, of the antics and the confusion that uh, Kim Jong-un continues to bring forward with his threats. So this is really, and now I'm getting another, sorry, I'm hearing another sound somewhere. So it's really weird what's going on right now. It's really, really weird. Um... Uh, and it, people are confused, but here's the good news. The United States of America's military stands right, right now completely ready to defend the United States and defend all of our uh, assets, all of our citizens, whether they be in Guam or they be somewhere else. Now, at the same time, we're even ready to stand with our allies. Kim Jong-un... I don't know what he thinks, you know, what's he thinking? Uh, he made a statement today. He said, you know, Trump only understands one thing, and that's brute force. That's right. Well, that's, you don't want to go there. So the United States, we're on high, high, high alert. We're going to continue to pray for our men and women in uniform around the world and pray one for another. This is a very, very dangerous time that we're in. There's no question about it. I will be live with you tonight, one way or the other. If the internet provider is back, gets everything repaired out there, the entire internet, not just here, but I mean everywhere in this area is down. The minute it happened, I'm talking internet provider, uh, including the cable televisions. So I, my first thought was, have we went to war? Because if there's something military taking place right now, they'll shut down. They'll do sporadic shutdowns on internet connections. So... I don't know if that's the case. I hope to God not. There could be a military intervention going on as we speak. If not, they get it repaired. I'll be back live with all the networks. If they don't, I'll be live with this hotspot right here on YouTube. Either way, I'll see you tonight, 10 o'clock. God bless everyone, I tell you. We're living in a dangerous, dangerous, dangerous times. Are you serious? <laughs>